Okay, so uh, sa continuation, so nandiyan pa ba kayo? Okay. So again, how may be automatically granted yung tinatawag natin na height waiver as provided under Section 15 of Republic Act 8551. Of course, uh, Ang sabot natin dyan, members of cultural minorities, um, duly certified by appropriate uh, government agency. Of course, there are different government agency class na nagsa-certify on the um, following members of cultural minorities okay, in the Philippines. Of course, class, di ba sinasabi that kapag you are a member of a cultural minority, it is perceived na hindi ka or hindi ka matangkad or hindi ka tangkaran. So that's why automatically you are uh, granted a height waiver, of course. And every cultural minorities, meron tayong nag-certify dyan. Halimbawa na lamang sa Muslim Filipinos, of course, uh, nag-certify dyan is yung uh, NCMF, or the National the National Commission on uh, Muslim Filipinos. Okay, and so on. Another appropriate uh, government agency. Okay, uh, ano ba yung sequence natin, class? Okay, ano yung sequence natin when it comes sa uh, tinatawag natin na waiver program in the PNP? Ano yung pagkakasunod-sunod niya? Okay, ano yung acronym na ginagamit natin uh, in uh, a waiver program in the PNP? Sige nga, on the comment section, as a review lang. Okay, so AHW, okay, kasi wala na ngayon yung tinatawag natin na, uh, of course, uh, education, of course, uh, for the purpose of history, nandyan pa rin yung awe. Ah. Pero, of course, we have the age, height, and weight. Of course, ang education, it is uh, automatic now. Ano na yan? It is given na meron ng education kasi, of course, under 8551, dapat lahat ng members of the uh, PNP must have a uh, baccalaureate degree. Di ba? Meron baccalaureate degree in a recognized learning institution. Of course, dapat na-recognize yan ng CHED and so on. Of course, we have AHW or AWE. Of course, when it comes to historical. or uh, But still, for the purpose of the board exam, nandyan pa rin yung, yung AWE. A-H-W-E. Okay? So, of course, ang pinaka-list consideration yung education, di ba? So, that's why. Pero, of course, kapag wala sa board exam yung education, uh, age, height, weight lang, yun yung isasabot ninyo. Okay? So, again, so, ang uh, pagkakasunod-sunod natin, we have the age, height, weight, and of course, yung list consideration, minsan hindi na sanasali. Or ngayon, hindi na sanasali yung pinatawag natin na education. But of course, dapat alam nyo pa rin kapag in case or case-to-case -case basis. Okay, so ayan. Then, uh, of course, uh, next na sasagot, mamaya explain pa natin further class ang um, pinatawag natin na... Um, uh, what do you call this? Yung tanatawag natin ng, uh, ano, yung, uh, tawag nito, makalimutan ko na. Uh, wait lang, balik ko muna. Okay, yung waiver program sila. Okay, waiver program rather. Okay, so nandito si Mondelo. Bumalik pa si Mondelo. Mondelo? Sir. Ayan, sige. Uh, pakibasa nga, sir. Among the following applicants for appointment to the a police service who may be automat automatically granted height waiver. Ay, hey, para na balik, no? Uh, okay na ata to, yeah. Uh, okay na ata to. Pero still, kung titingnan ninyo, uh, ano lang siya, uh, iba lang yung pag-construct ng uh, sentence or ng question. But still, dapat again sa board exam, you must be consistent with your answer. Okay? So, ayan. Thank you, Mondelo. So, mamaya na lang sa next question. Again, kung titingnan ninyo, Meron tayong tinatawag na direct question, indirect question, of course, case analysis. Uh, of course, yung uh, sa board exam kasi tatlo yung tanong natin. Ha? We have the direct question, indirect question, and of course, the case analysis. Of course, ang pinakamarami dyan, the direct and indirect question. Ang case analysis, that is only 20% na lalabas sa board exam. But of course, madali na naman sagutin yung case analysis. Again, ang still ang sagot natin dito that the letter B dapat consistent kayo sa sagot niyo. Okay, members of cultural minorities duly certified by appropriate government agency. Okay? Next. Okay, dito tayo. Of course na naulit na to. Okay, si Mondelo ulit. Who among the following meets the age qualifications for appointment to the police service? A. Rejo is 
20 years old, B, John, who is 22 years old, C, Dennis, who is 17 years old, D, Santi, who is 35 years old. Okay, so Hamoho among the following meets the age qualifications for appointment to the police service. Okay, Ray, who is 20 years old, uh, B, John, who is 22 years old, letter C, Dennis, who is 17, Santi, who is 35 years old. Okay, so answer on the comment section. Okay, sana yung iba. Lahat mag-participate ka sa... Mm -hmm. Okay, so ayan. Nandito na ba si Sir Roger? Okay, so ang sagot natin dyan, of course, that is uh, letter B, John, who is 22 years old. Okay, ang tanong ngayon, class, pwede ba mag-apply? Uh, okay, uh, is rape qualified to apply to the police service? Pwede ba siya mag-apply sa police service? Yes or no? Tignan mm -hmm. natin yung mga sagot ngayon. Okay, of course, yes, pwedeng pwede through waiver program. Of course, di ba? So kahit kumulang man yung edad niya, kung okay, about 20 years old, o ilang, ilang taon ba pwede yung makapasok ang isang police officer in the PNP service? Ano ba yung minimum? Minimum muna tayo. Okay. Of course, uh, 21. Okay, very good na. Same that is 21 years old. Uh, okay, so yan yung uh, still, of course, kapag 20 years old, kapag kulang pa yung edad mo, you can still apply to the police service as long as meron kang tinatawag na age uh, waiver. But of course, class, take note, ha, yung tinatawag na age waiver, dapat merong kakaiba sa'yo or merong special qualification sa'yo before ka dalay accept sa police service. Hindi ibig sabihin na mas bata ka, same lang yung average mo sa iba when it comes sa board exam or yung skills mo, play na top at uh, play na uh, passer ka lang. Of course, hindi ka nila katanggap yun. Of course, dapat kapag kulang or halimbawa, hindi na pasok yung edad mo, you can still apply to the police service as long as meron kang tinatawag na special qualification. Halimbawa, you are, you are an expert in uh, QD, you are an expert in polygraphy or in any other uh, field ng uh, criminology area, lalo na sa forensics na, na subject. Diba? Pero kasi kapag walang special qualification within you, hindi ka rin nila tatanggapin class. Of course, di ba? So mas marami pang magaling sa'yo, di ba? Kaysa, of course, doon sila ang tatanggapin nila yung tama yung edad, yung 21 years old. Tapos, of course, uh, over you na wala rin namang special qualification. Okay? So ang sagot natin dyan, Ray, who is 20 years old. Okay, very good. Okay, next. Uh, the, uh, next tayo, si... Um, Si Chanin. Chanin? Nandiyan ba si Chanin? Okay, nasa number 3 kasi si Chanin. Wala ba? Okay, kung uh, wala si Chanin, si uh, Sir Nasim, number 4. Good evening, sir. Good evening. The, 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 age, the age requirement in the Philippine National Police based on the upgrading qualifications for the appointment is blank. Letter A. 20 years old to 30 years old, B, 21 to 30 years old, C, 20 to 35 years of age, and D, 21 to 35 years old. Okay, thank you. Uh, nasira pala yung mic ni Chanin. Okay, so the age requirement in the PNP based on the upgrading qualification for appointment is, okay, A, 20 to 30, letter B, 21 to 30, letter C, 20 to 35, or 21 to 35. Sige nga. Anong area na kayo sa ano sa 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 review ninyo sa face to face ninyo class? Sa kela sir na si Leia. Ilang? Leia. Okay. Leia. Ay, ilan na tapos ninyo na area? Tatlo pa lang. Ay tatlo, tatlo pa, pa lang. lang po sir. 
Uh, Ay, maganda nga sir kasi anay, talubong yung sa akin po, yung sa program nyo, tsaka dun sa... Ah, okay, maganda, ano, nice. Center ko. Talubong Ay, sa... siya, kaya yung... Uh, sa quest saan... po ako sir eh. Ay, sa quest, quest. ka. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, magtuturo na ako sa quest, pero sabi ko sa kanila next year na, kasi loaded pa ako ngayon. <laughs> 2024 pa siguro. Nag-contact naman uh, sila. Quest Montinlu pa ako sir. Ay, Montinlu pa. Ah, maganda kasi nagkakasalubong. Maganda yan, class ah. Kaya sanabi ko sa inyo na dapat mag roll kayo sa tatlo or apat na review center para papasa at magtatap talaga kayo, di ba? Of course, uh, para... Of course, di ba? Uh, i- uh, ano nyo sila? I- um, i-credit mo rin sila kung sino yung uh, ilang review center. Walang problema doon na. Okay? So, <laughs> kasi nag-aaway ngayon eh. Alam mo siya, sir. Kaya maganda eh. Pagka after nang natapos namin yung criminology, darating tayo sa criminology, so parang naririgi ulit ko siya. Parang yes, maganda yan. yan. Yes. Kaya nga, di ba, marami natatanong sa akin, sir, okay lang ba yung ilan ng review center mo? Kasi mostly dito eh, marami rin nag-enroll na tayo sa ibang review center. Sabi ko, walang problema. As long as nakakatulong sa'yo, yun. Ah, kaya mo naman magbayad, walang problema naman, di ba? Okay, ang problema lang dyan, okay, mag-aaway, no? Kung sino yung may-ari talaga <laughs> kapag mag-top ka, ano? Okay, <laughs> so, basta, no comment. <laughs> okay, so, ayan. Okay, so, ayan, si... Sa Kaila Kaisa, anong area na natapos ninyo sa Cream Coach sa Baguio? Ano na po sir, apat na po pero ongoing pa po kami sa Leia. Tapos na po kami sa Core Ad Forensic sa si LJ po. Ah okay, so ayan, maganda. Magkikita pa rin tayo sa January. <laughs> okay, so of course sa ibang uh, ibang review center, ano na natapos ninyo? Sila Sir Florendo, anong area na para makikimating na natin kung ano. Maganda yung nagka-clash yung mga area para ma maano mo, maulit, ma triple, ma double. Ano na mga area ninyo? <laughs> okay, um, bakit, may nag- <laughs> bakit may nag-away dito? <laughs> okay. Wala akong problema doon. <laughs> um, Nandi sa'yo lang ako naka-enroll sir ngayon. Ah, okay. Nandi sir Florendo. Okay, sa, sa UM tapos na rin natin yung sa UM at sa ibang ano. Okay, so... <laughs> Bakit may nag- si Daniel? Okay, so bahala kayo dyan. Hindi naman ako connected sa, sa kanilang mas. Name drop, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Walang mag-name drop. <laughs> Pero okay lang yan. Uh, ano naman yan? It is a common knowledge. Parang judicial notice yan eh. <laughs> common sa, sa lahat. <laughs> Ang nangyayari, di ba? Kahit undas ay kahit uh, tawag nito. Kahit uh, All Saints and ano yun? All Souls Day. Nag-aaway pa rin, no? <laughs> kung sino yung pinakamagaling ayan <laughs> okay lang wow. bahala na sila no? kung sino yung pinakamagaling sa kanila ang importante uh, ayan papasa at magtatap kayo sa boys okay so sa low key lang tayo sir sa low key lang yes low key is the key di ba o di ba hindi nga nag hindi nga nag ano, hindi nga nag ano oh. hindi nga maingay yung cream po so ang daming top notcher sa likod oh <laughs> yung sa tarpaulin ni Kaisa o sa likod <laughs> okay so of course the age uh, oh, uh, tahimik lang okay so the age requirement in the PNP based on the upgrading qualification for appointment of course that is 21 to 30 years old but of course guys um, hindi ba sabihin kapag you are 20 years old hindi ka na pwedeng mag uh, mag-apply for PNP, you can still, okay? Of course, 35 years old, pwedeng-pwede pa rin. As long as, meron kang tinatawag na, of course, special qualification. Ibig sabihin, merong nakitaan ka nila, nakakaiba sa iyo, na pwede nilang magamit in the service. So, that's why, pasok ka pa rin doon. But still, of course, uh, kasi ang board exam, hindi naman based on actual, di ba? Okay, hindi naman tayo based on practice. So sabihin mo na halimbawa mag-take ka ng board exam 21 at uh, 2035 kasi pwede pa rin sila mag-take. Mali yan class. Okay, based on the book ang ating or based on the law or legal uh, reference natin ang tinatawag natin na board exam. Okay, based on legal. Okay? So that's why it is 21 to 30 years old yung uh, upgrading qualification for appointment in the PNP service. That is 21 to 30 years old. Okay? So that is uh on the age requirement ang pag-uusapan natin. Okay, next. 
Okay, so of course, uh, ito yung general qualification for appointment class. Of course, alam na alam nyo naman to. Of course, citizen of the Philippines, person of good moral conduct. Then of course, pass the psychiatric or psychological drug and physical test. Of course, must possess uh, any baccalaureate uh, degree, di ba? Of course, uh, eligible in accordance with the standards set by the commission. Of course, halimbawa, uh, nakapasa siya na, na NACOL COM examination or uh, board examination, mas uh, much better. Mas mataas kasi ang board examination. Then of course, hindi siya na-dismiss or na-discharge from military employment. Hindi nag -awul. Okay, So of course, uh, not convicted by a final judgment of an offense uh, involving moral torpitude. Ibig sabihin ng moral torpitude class, yung mga um, karumaldumal or panlalamang sa kapwa that is moral torpitude. Then, of course, yung sa uh, upgrading qualification for height naman class. Okay, ano na yung height ngayon class? Okay, kapag halimbawa sa male, uh, mag apply tayo ng, uh, ng height waiver. Ano na? Okay, ang gagawin nyo lang dyan, minus 5 lang sa ano, so da, uh, sa malalaki, minus 5 sa babae. So meaning, ano na class? Ilang, uh, Kung ano yung height ng ano sir, babae noon sa regular dati, ayun yung nagiging height ng lalaki sir. Ayun okay. sa, sa standards. Tapos okay. yung height ng babae, minus 5 na lang sir. Oh, minus 5, very good. Then of course, di ba ngayon binaba niya? mabinaba na. So ano na yung uh, ano natin sa fit na lang. Okay para mas maano ninyo. Ilang fit na ang sa babae? Ano na ba? 5 flat, of course, sa lalaki 52 na lang, di ba? So mas binaba niya. So kaya yon yung susundin natin sa board exam class ha. Okay, 5 flat sa sa babae, then of course 52 sa babae. But of course, class, ibang usapan naman kapag ano ba eh, uh, gusto mong pumasok sa NBI kasi mataas ang standard ng NBI. Dapat ang uh, average mo sa um, during board exam or uh, during uh, board board review average. Okay, of course, diba dapat nasa 80 to 85. Then dapat matangkad ka nasa 57 or nasa 55 kapag NBI yung papasukin mo class. But of course, diba, uh, marami po mapasok na R cream ka sa, sa NBI kung gusto ninyo. Then, of course, not more than or less than 5 kilograms from the standard weight corresponding to his, of course, height, age, and sex. Of course, last, meron tayong tanatawag na BMI or the body mass index na tanatawag natin. Okay, not more than or less than 5 kilograms. Then, age must not be less than 21 nor more than 30 years of, course, years of age. Of course, yan yung mga upgrading qualifications natin, class. Ito yung uh, ano ha, uh, ito yung standard na hindi pa natin ina-applyan ng tinatawag natin na waiver program. Okay? So yan yung general qualifications for appointment natin. Then of course class, ano yung mangyayari, di ba? May pumasok sa police service natin na hindi, di ba ngayon sa upgrading educational qualification ng PNP, dapat merong uh, must possess any baccalaureate degree in a recognized learning institution. Uh, kung natatandaan nyo pa yung sa Philippine Constabulary or sa PC, di ba, as long as kilala mo si mayor or kilala mo si governor, you can apply for uh, or pwede ka pumasok sa police service. So ano mangyayari sa kanilang class? Kasi nga, sinabi ni 8551 na mag-upgrade na tayo. Dapat meron ng uh, baccalaureate degree. Then of course, ma mapasa yung uh, examination set with the NAPOLCOM or any board examination. So, ang mangyayari doon sa pumasok sa Philippine Constabulary or sa PC class, then of course, di ba nagkaroon tayo ng uh, PC INP or Integrated National Police. So, ang, pum ang nung pumasok class sa PC, then di ba wala silang some of uh, member ng PC dati, walang formal baccalaureate degree. Of course, ano yung remedy natin? Of course, we have the Republic Act 9708. Of course, an act extending for five years, the reglementary period na tinatawag natin for complying with the minimum educational qualification for appointment to the PNP, okay? And adjusting the promotion system. So, of course, yung hindi nakatapos or hindi naka-acquired ng uh, formal baccalaureate degree, binibigyan sila ng five years reglementary period to comply with the basic or with the minimum educational qualification ng PNP na naset ng Republic Act 8551. Of course, 
amending for the uh, purpose pertinent to the provisions of 6975 and of course 8551. So yun ang corpus class ng Republic Act 9708. Tandaan nyo lang ha, that is an act extending for 5 years reglementary period. Dapat within 5 years, meron or na-comply na nila yung minimum educational qualification. Kapag hindi, of course, they are subject for uh, retirement or separation from the service. Okay? So yan yung Republic Act 9708. Of course, that was approved on August 12, 2009. Okay? Then next, okay, so of course, uh, the waiver program, we have the AWE or AHW as of now kasi of course, given na yung education na nandiyan na yan. So of course, uh, waiver for initial appointments to the PNB, of course, the age must uh, 20, okay? Pwedeng uh, pumasok pa rin yung 20 class, ha? of course, and 31 to 35 years of age kapag applyan natin yung waiver program. Tanda niyo ha? Kapag sa age waiver ang i-apply natin, you... Kapag you are 20 years old, and of course you are 31 to 35 years old, you can still apply or pwede ka pa rin pumasok sa waiver program. Of course, applying the age waiver. Okay, next, we have the height. Of course, the height naman. Of course, when you are belonging or belong to the uh, cultural minorities, then of course, the weight must uh, not more than or less than 5 kilograms or yung height, age, and of course, your sex. Okay, di ba? That is a weight. Of course, Bibigyan ka ng 6 months class to comply. Halimbawa, sumobra ng 5 kilograms, dapat magpabawas ka within that 6 months. Kapag kulang naman, dapat makomply mo within 6 months yung tinatawag natin na wait. Okay? Of course, you are under probationary. Then, of course, yung uh, education, di ba? It is given na, uh, of course, dati uh, 72 collegiate uh, units. Okay na. Pero ngayon, of course, dapat... Uh, meron na yung tinatawag natin na formal baccalaureate degree. So that's why pwedeng AHW lang. Then of course, halimbawa sa choices walang AHW, kikinompleto niya, nandyan yung education. Of course, yun na lang yung isagot ninyo, class. Of course, common sense is the key. Okay. So again, ulitin natin. So sa waiver program natin for initial appointment, kapag sa age, kapag you are 20 years old, di ba 21 to 30 years old, that is the age requirement to apply or to... Uh, to be admitted la sa police service. But of course, kapag you are 20 years old, 31 to 35 years old, you can still apply. Kasi nga, meron tayong tinatawag na waiver program or age waiver. Then height naman, when you are belong to any uh, cultural minorities in the country, automatically you will be granted height waiver. Then of course, yung waist, dapat mas proportionate with your, uh, with your height with your of course uh, with your age with your sex of course uh meron tayong tinatawag na body mass index or the BMI so kapag sumobra ng 5 kilograms of course bibigyan ka ng 6 months uh, na magpabawas kapag kumulang naman ng 5 kilograms within 6 months dapat ma ano yan madagdagan yung uh, yung a uh, yung weight na tinatawag natin or na weight qualification for appointment so of course ang education if is given na meron dapat uh may merong uh, formal baccalaureate degree. Meron bang pumapasok na grade 12, 'di ba? May nagtatanong, sir, pwede bang kumasa ng grade 12 ng ano, uh, na sa police? Happy ka naman, 'di ba? Hindi ka makapasok yung ano eh, yung R cream na ikaw pa na grade 12 nor um, K to 12 yung ano, 'di ba? So, of course hindi yan po edit class. Okay. Then uh, of course ito yung uh, very ito palaging uh, nung board exam ko palaging inuulit-ulit every board exam palaging nila tayong inuulit-ulit. Okay, so dapat uh, okay, next mga bonus question to class. Okay, si Rafael. Rafael, nandiyan si Rafael. Okay, si uh, ano na lang si Florendo, Florendo. Yes, sir. Okay. It is the premier educational institution for the police, fire, and jail personnel. A. Philippine Military Academy. B. Development Academy of the Philippines. C. Philippine College of Criminology. D. Philippine Public Safety College. Okay. So it is the premier educational institution for police, Fire and jail personnel. Okay, of course, very basic to na tanong. Okay, so ayan, what is our answer? Okay, so yes, ah, wala pa namang wala pang bill ngayon na sub now na tinatasan yung age requirement ng PNP. So intayin na lang natin class, bakakamero soon. 
baka meron ng deal na magtataas kasi di ba dapat supposedly yung mga grade 12 natin sa second year college na yan sila eh. So medyo natatagalan din of course by board exam pa. Of course class, it is the premier educational institution for police, fire, and jail personnel. Of course that is the uh, Philippine P uh, Public Safety College. Of course yung mga RTC natin class, yung mga regional training center schools. Ano ba, yung sa police, yung sa fire, or sa jail personnel. Of course they are under the PPSC or the Philippine Public Safety College. Of course, ito yung yung during our ano, nung fourth year ako nung nag-debate kami sa Naga College Foundation. Ito yung ano namin eh. Ito yung arg, uh, ito yung topic namin na pwede bang ilipat uh, yung tinatawag natin na merong autonomy. Halimbawa, yung training ng PNP sa CPNP na yung mag-handle, hindi na si uh, hindi na under kay Philippine Public Safety College. Okay, so yun na na-remember ko during our ano sa Naga College Foundation. Okay. So uh, ang uh, Philippine College of Criminology kasi tanong sa board exam, ano yung dating pangalan ni uh, PCCR? Okay, ano pa ano anong dating pangalan ni PCCR? Nandoon si ano si Sir Nasim na nag ano yung nagma-masteral sa PCCR alam dapat alam mo yan. <laughs> okay. So ano yung pangalan ng PCCR before class? Ano yan? Kasi one time, tinanong daw yan sa board exam. Uh, palaging tinatanong eh. Kasi ang PCCR class, of course, that is the first criminology school in the country. Okay, so based on history, di ba? So ang tinanong daw, nando daw yung pang former name ng PCCR. Uh, sino yung may, yung may idea? Sige nga, on the comment section. Si Sir Nasim nandun. <laughs> okay, pagkagalitan ka ng graduate school. Okay, sino yung may idea class? Ano siya? Nagsastart sa letter F. Nagsastart sa letter F class. Okay. Uh, baka alam mo, Kaiza? Baka alam ninyo? Or sino mo yung iba yan? Kasi once tinanong yan sa board exam eh. What is the former name of uh, uh, PCCR? Ano class? Nagsastart sa letter F yan. Okay. Tingnan na natin. Okay. Of course, class, yung uh, PCCR uh, based on history, of course, ang pangalan niya, the Floridel Educational Institution. Okay? So, ayan, of course, in-establish in class ni Supreme Court Justice Felix Angelo Bautista. Okay, nakuha ninyo? Uh, kasi ano yan eh, very uh, nito, historical ang PCCR. Okay, ilagay ko na lang, PCCR. Ang pangalan niya before, the Floridel. Okay, so Floridel F, letter P pala. Okay, the Floridel Educational Educational Institution. Parang naturo ko yan sa kila Kaisa before. <laughs> okay, so ayan. Yan yung former name niya class, the Floridel Educational Institution. Ang nag-establish ng uh, PCCR class, of course, si uh, uh, former Supreme Court Justice, of course, si... Uh, Uh, Supreme Court, SC. Felix Angelo Bautista. Felix Angelo okay. Bautista. Okay, so again, the PCCR, the Plattedal Education Institution, of course, that is Felix Angelo Bautista class. Okay, baka in case class, ha, Kapag pagdating sa board exam, uh, itanong niya. So, ayan yung uh, tinatawag natin na PCCR or the, Fe the Philippine College of Criminology. Of course, they are the first uh, criminology school in the country or na nag-offer na tinatawag natin na criminology. So, that is the PCCR. Okay, nakuha? Okay, so ayan. So, of course, ipopost na lang natin yan sa page para makita rin ng iba. Okay, it is the premier educational institution for police, fire, and jail personnel. Of course, that is uh, Philippine College of Criminology or the PCCR. Okay, so yeah. Okay, nakuha na class? Okay, uh, uh, medyo ano pala. Uh, mm -hmm. Ano yung sabi ni Kaiza? Ay, nagtaka siya sa letter F, letter P pala yun. No? <laughs> okay, so yeah, the Florida Educational Institution. Okay, so next. Okay, next uh, 
Okay, dito tayo. So, we have Sir uh, si Madkalang. Madkalang ba or Madkalang? Madkalang. Ay, nandito na pala si ano. Okay, si Lawrence. Lawrence? Lawrence, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sige, Lawrence. Uh, okay, go ahead. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. All of the following are members of People's Law Enforcement Board or PLEB, except A3 members chosen by the Peace of and Order Council from among the respective respected member of the community. B, any barangay captain of the city municipality concerned chosen by the association of the barangay captains. C, any member of Sangguniang Panglungsod or Pambayan. D, a bar member chosen by the Integrated Bar of the Philippines. Okay. So all of the following are members of the people of the pleb or the people's law enforcement board exam. Okay, so what is your answer, class, on the comment section? Okay, so let's answer. So again, of course, uh, exception ang hindi ang inahanap niya, of course. Ang um, sagot natin dyan, that is letter D, a bar member chosen by Integrated Bar of the Philippines. Of course, hindi yan siya kasali class under the uh, People's Law Enforcement Board. Ano yung purpose class ng PLEB? Okay, so ano yung purpose ba ng PLEB? Uh, any idea? Or ano yung trabaho? Or ano yung function ng PLEB? Or the People's Law Enforcement Board? Sila yung ano sir pag may uh, may complaint yung citizen sir sila yung usually na nag-handle this. Pag okay. may complaint yung citizen sa uh, police. Okay, very good. Okay, so very good. So again, ang uh, PLEB, of course, the People's Law Enforcement Board, kapag uh, yung uh, of course, private citizen or citizen have a uh, complaint on the earring yung word uh, E R R I N G or earring uh, member of the police force. So diyan natin dinodulog sa tinatawag natin na PLEB. Of course, ang members of the PLEB, una, of course, uh, three members chosen by the Peace and Order Council from among the respected members of the community. Of course, respected members of the community class. Pinagkakatiwalaan, of course, they are, uh, kumagam, uh, ang, they have, uh, they possess yung tinatawag natin na strong leadership. Letter B, any barangay captain of the city, municipality concerned chosen by, of course, Association of Barangay Captains and of course any member of the Sangguniang Panglunsod or uh, Sangguniang Pambayan yan yung maging member ng tinatawag natin na PLEB or the People's Law Enforcement Board. Okay? So i-copy nyo muna class then para makaproceed tayo sa next. Again, ang purpose ng PLEB class of course uh, sila yung uh, dyan din dulo class kapag uh, any complaints against the PNP or against the, the member of the PNP survey. Okay, so dyan natin dinadulog sa tinatawag natin na plan. Okay, next. Of course, we have the disciplinary mechanism class or the disciplinary board na tinatawag natin. Okay, so we have the internal discipline. Tandaan nyo class, sa internal discipline, of course, sa... Uh, Halimbawa, kapag sa demotion, and of course, pag-uusapan natin demotion, pag sa natin demotion, of course, di ba, your rank. From the higher rank, ibaba ba ka, supposedly, hindi yun yung rank mo. Then of course, you will uh, dismissal from the service. Kapag sa, tanda nyo lang class, kapag sa internal discipline or dis disciplinary mechanism na tinatawag natin, sa chief of police, of course, ang days ang pag-uusapan natin, 15 days. 
ang provincial director naman, 30 days ang uh, RD naman, 60 days, and of course, the GPNP, of course, uh, 180 days, yung uh, internal discipline na tinatawag natin. Of course, ang 180 days, uh, okay, so ayan, i-copy nyo muna. Okay, so yan yung sa disciplinary mechanism uh, or sa internal discipline na tinatawag natin. Mamaya ma-explain pa natin na yan class doon sa huli. Okay, so of course, 15, 30, 60, and of course, 180 days. Of course, nadaanan naman natin nila uh, yung iba, yung sa internal discipline natin. Okay, dito tayo sa next, si uh, Berto Dazo. Berto Dazo. The provincial okay. governor <laughs> shall choose the director from a list of blank. Eligible recommended by the PNP director, preferable from the sum province, city, or municipality. A, 3, B, 5, C, 4, D, 6. Okay, so the provincial governor, uh, governor shall choose the provincial director from a list of how many eligibles were recommended by the PNP director, preferably or preferable from the same province, city, or municipality. Okay, so ano yung technique na ginagamit siya dyan, class? Of course, there, are, there is very basic question, class, no? Pagdating sa board exam, palaging tinatanong ko eh. Of course, class, pag tandaan ninyo, pag sinabi natin provincial governor, i-count nyo lang yung, yung GOB, yung GOB, of course, that is three, okay, three letters. So kapag governor, of course, uh, he will choose from the three eligible recommended by the PNP director, okay? So preferably from the same province, city, or municipality. Okay, so kapag nag-choose tayo ng provincial director. Of course, kapag uh, si mayor naman, class, okay, kanibawa si mayor naman, kapag nag-choose siya ng tinatawag natin na uh, chief of police in the city or municipality, or how many eligible sa pagpipilihan niya, of course, five. Okay, five eligibles kasi ang mayor... That is five letters, M-A-Y-O-R. Okay, so that's why, tandaan nyo lang ha, ang provincial director will choose uh, from okay from a list of three eligibles recommended by PNP director. Okay, uh, preferably from the same province, city, or municipality. While ang tinatawag naman natin, um, kapag si mayor naman na mag-choose uh, who will be the next chief of police, Sa tinatawag natin na city or municipality, of course, tandaan nyo lang yung, i-count nyo lang yung mayor, M-A-Y-O-R, that is five letters. So that's why uh, ang mayor will choose from uh, tinatawag natin na uh, five eligibles. Okay, five eligibles class ang, ang si mayor naman. Okay, so yan. Again, ang sagot natin dyan, three eligibles recommended by the PNP director. Okay, so who will be the next uh, tinatawag natin na provincial director? Okay, so ayan, next tayo. Next question. Okay, so dito tayo. Please uh, answer ulit si uh, Ma'am Kaiza. Balik tayo sa number one. Meron mo pumasok na iba ay nandito. Who among the following have the summary disciplinary powers over Iran police members? A. District Director, B. Chief of Police, C. Provincial Director, D. Chief PNP. Okay, so who among the following have the summary disciplinary powers over Iran or Iran police members? Okay, letter A, District, uh, District Director, letter B, Chief of Police, letter C, Provincial Director, and letter D, we have the chief PNP. Sino yung may summary dismissal powers class over the Iran police service? Okay, so of course, ang sagot natin dyan, 
Sino yung may summary dismissal powers? Of course, uh, okay. Uh, or Iran police uh, members. Okay, ang sagot natin dyan, that is the chief PNP. Okay, very good, class. Okay, so the chief PNP yung may summary dismissal powers. Okay, so halimbawa, class, kapag uh, ganito ang tanong, who among the following members have the summary disciplinary powers over Iran police members? Ang, uh, ang sa choices dyan, we have the... Uh, the RD, sorry, sorry. We have the RD, okay, regional director, chief of police, provincial director, and chief PNP. So, sino ngayon yung may summary dismissal powers class? Sino yung pipiliin yung sagot? Okay, sino yung may summary dismissal powers? Kapag in case na ganun ang nangyari. Sino? Okay, bakit ito lang sumasagot? <laughs> okay, so of course, hey, class. Okay. Ah, okay, sige. So kapag ganito ang ano, ah, who among the following have the summary disciplinary powers over Iran police member? Tapos sa letter A, regional director, letter B, chief of police, letter C, provincial director, and letter D, chief PNP. Ano yung magiging sagot ninyo? Okay. Ano yung magiging possible na sagot nyo, class? Kapag present si R.D., ang tinatawag natin na uh, Chief PNP. Sino yung may summary dismissal powers? Mm -hmm. Sino? Mm -hmm. Sino? Okay, of course, diba? the, the two possible ang answer natin. We have RD and of course the chief PNP. Of course, nag-appear si RD na una. Of course, si RD yung magiging uh, sagot natin class. Again, ha? si RD kapag of course sa region, okay, uh, kapag nasa national headquarters naman, of course si chief PNP. Nakuha rin yung class? Okay, kapag sa national headquarters, of course, alangan naman pupunta pa si, R, si uh, chief PNP sa region para i-dismiss yung kanatawag natin na police members. Okay, again, kapag gano'n ang nangyari, ah, yung first na mag-appear na tamang sagot, yun yung magiging sagot ninyo, class. Okay, nakuha ba? Okay, so mamaya ma-explain pa natin yan. Okay, next. Of course, uh, we will talk about the longevity pay. Okay, um, ilan ba yung makukuha nila, class, kapag, of course, nagtagal sila sa police service na tinatawag natin. Of course, kapag five years, okay, five years yung kaniyang um, yung tanatawag natin na service or yung tanatawag natin na uh, pag-serve sa police service. Okay, 10% of the base pay to 50% ang makukuha niya class na longevity pay. Then of course, uh, meron tayong tanatawag na retirement. Okay, so pag-uusapan natin ang retirement class. Okay, what are the two types of retirement class na meron tayo sa PNP? Sige nga, on the comment section. Ano yung dalawang types ng retirement na meron tayo? Okay, so what are the two types of retirement na meron tayo? Okay, sa comment section class, pakiblagay. What are the two types of retirement na meron tayo? Okay. Okay, ang sagot natin. Okay, optional and compulsory. Okay, very good. So we have the uh, what they call the optional retirement and of course we have the uh, compulsory. Okay, of course class, we have the early retirement or yung tinatawag natin na optional retirement. Then of course, we have the uh, compulsory or the mandatory retirement. Okay. So ang tanong ngayon, okay, so titingnan ko ah kung mas uh, deep ba yung preparation niyo or deep ba yung nalalaman niyo pagdating sa Leia. Okay. So pag sinabi nating na uh, optional or early retirement, okay, ano yung reason class na magre-retire ka? Okay, ano ba yung qualification na magre-retire ka? 
or pwede ka payagan for early or optional retirement. Kapag, okay, ano yung ma-reach mo dapat? Ilang years yon Okay, by reason of yung tinatawag natin na service. Okay, very good, Kaisa. Okay, so ang ang pinakatamang sagot doon class pagdating sa board exam, by reason of service. Okay, by reason of service. Ibig sabihin, you already served 20 years of active, continuous service in the police service. So that's why ang ang ang, ang sagot doon, 20, uh, ang tanong ang sagot talaga doon class, by reason of service. Again, kapag tanong sa board exam, kailan ka papayagan or Bakit ka? Okay, uh, yung tinatawag natin na optional or early retirement, ano ba yung reason behind that? Of course, ang sagot doon, by reason of service. Ibig sabihin, you completed or you acquired 20 years of active. Ibig sabihin, tuloy-tuloy, ah, 20 years of active service. Nakuha niyo? Of course, tama naman yung mga sagot niyo, 20 years in service. But still, ang pinaka-correct or appropriate na term doon, by reason of service. Ibig sabihin, by reason of service, uh, you retired from the service kasi nga 20 years, okay na yan. That is optional or early retirement. Okay, very good. So, how about kapag tinatawag natin na compulsory or mandatory retirement? Ano yun naman? Or ano naman yung reason class ng pag-retire pag mo sa service? Okay, ano naman yung reason behind? Kung bakit, okay, so, very good. So, of course, by reason of age. Very good. Kaisa and Nasim. Okay, of course, by reason of age class. Okay, so ano ba yung age na, na dapat ma-reach before ka mandatory or compulsory retirement? Whether you like it or not, kailangan mo nang humiwalay or kailangan mo nang mag sa PNP service. And anong age yun? Okay. Okay, 56. Okay, very good. 56 years old, whether you like it or not mandatory na or kailangan mo na talagang mag sa service. Okay? 56 years of age. Okay? Again, kapag tanong sa board exam, kapag uh, early or yung tinatawag natin na optional retirement, ang reason dyan, by reason of uh, service, kapag uh, umabot na naman ka sa 56 years old o yung mandatory or compulsory retirement, ang reason behind kung bakit ka nag sa service is tinatawag natin by Reason of age. Okay? By reason of age. Okay? So, nakuha niyo? Naintindihan ba? Naintindihan class? Okay. So, yun na ang pagdating sa board exam. Of course, pag-uusapan natin dito yung uh, longevity pay when it comes sa optional retirement. Okay? Sa optional retirement. Then, of course, we have the 20 years. Okay? 20 years. The, uh, of course, kapag you uh, accumulated or nag-serve ka ng 20 years of active service in the PMT, ang makukuha mo na longevity pay is 50% of the base pay and of course your longevity pay. Okay, so malaki no. Then of course halimbawa, so mobra ka pa ano ba 21 or nag-add ka pa ng 1 year. Okay? 1 year, then of course mag-add yan ng 2 2.5% to 90% ang aabotin class kapag of course ang pinaka maximum 36 uh, years in active service. So yan yung mga sa retirement natin class ha. Of course, uh, hindi naman sila masyadong natatanong dito but in case baka tanongin nila. Then, of course, when it comes sa permanent physical disability, kung kanimbawa, pumasok ka sa police service, then of course, hindi naman natin um, uh, malala, ma ma malayan or hindi natin mapipedik kung ano yung maging future mo. Halimbawa, nagkaroon ka ng uh, permanent physical disability okay, or, or by reason of your service or, or in the event or in the performance of your uh, duty, so, of course, uh, one year salary ang makukuha mo. Then, of course, uh, that is 80% of last salary as a lifetime pension. Again, 80% of your last salary as lifetime pension. Ano ba? Corporal ka. Okay, ano ba? 39 years, uh, 39,000. Um, so, 80%. Nasa more or less, nasa 35 ba? Okay, and ganun yung magiging lifetime pension mo. Then of course, that is uh, yung uh, permanent physical disability na makukuha mo class. That is for 5 years guaranteed period ang papasok or ma-enjoy mo yun. Okay? So phys permanent physical disability. Ibig sabihin, totally hindi ka na talaga or hindi mo na ma-perform yung, uh, ano, yung uh, tinatawag natin na function mo as a police officer. Okay? So yan. Then of course, uh, ayan, natapos na pala natin yung isa. 
So dito na tayo class sa uh, law enforcement operations uh, and planning and of course with crime mapping. Ito yung uh, tinatawag natin na ano class ah? ito yung uh, TOS natin sa okay sa law enforcement operation and planning and of course with the crime mapping. Okay, so ayan, the types of plan, of course steps in planning and operation, uh, statutory rights, uh, constitutional rights, demonstrate and explain of course operation and uh, other law enforcement agencies actually pagkaparehas lang yan sila class yung mga sa BFP, uh, PCG and other areas. Okay? So yan. Okay, let's uh, move on. Okay, so pag sinabi natin uh, it is the determination in advance on what to be done, how to be done, okay, how to done, uh, how, when, where and so on. Okay, what is our answer? Okay, it is the determination in advance on what to be done. A, plan, letter B, planning, letter C, police planning, and letter D, departmental plan. Okay, what is your answer, class? Okay, so what is our answer? Of course, pag sinabi natin determination in advance, okay, pag uh, dyan pa lang klaso, oh, determination in advance on what to be done, okay, of course, uh, when, where, and so on. Of course, ang sagot natin dyan, that is planning, okay? Ang sagot natin dyan, class, that is planning, that is determination in advance on what to be done. Pag sinabi natin plan, that is the result of the planning. Again, pag sinabi natin plan, that is the result of the planning. Ulitin natin. Pag sinabi natin planning, that is determination in advance on what to be done. Pag sinabi naman natin plan, that is the result of the planning. While the police planning na tinatawag natin, of course, that is determination in advance on what to, to be done in connection with the police service or when in connection with the PNP service. Of course, ang departmental plan, mamaya ma-explain pa natin. Uh, again, ulitin natin, it is the determination in advance on what to be done. Of course, ang our, our answer is uh, letter A, uh, letter B, that is planning. Again, pag sinabi natin planning, that is determination in advance on what to be done. Pag sinabi naman natin plan, that is the results or the result of the planning. Then, of course, we have the police planning, that is determination in advance on what to be done in connection or related to the police uh, service that is police planning naman okay so yan okay let's move on to the next question okay so next we have uh after ni uh, si sir mondelo mondelo Okay, so again, it is used by analysts in law enforcement agencies to visualize and analyze crime incident patterns. Letter A, thematic mapping. Letter B, crime mapping. Letter C, hotspots. Letter D, geographic profiling. Okay, what is your answer, class, on the comments? Okay. Yes, sir.
Okay, of course, class. Uh, let's answer this question. Okay, so it is used by analysts in law enforcement agencies to visualize and analyze crime incident patterns. Of course, that is crime mapping. Okay, pag sinama natin crime mapping class, of course, di ba, nakalagay dyan, it is used by analysts in law enforcement agencies to visualize, okay? Mapoforsi nila kung saan yung tinatawag natin na area of interest. But of course, malalaman nila or madetermine or yung makonceptualize yung tinatawag natin na crime incident patterns. Of course, meron tayong tinatawag na crime incident patterns in every area, in every population class, or in every specific uh, region, meron tinatawag na crime incident patterns. What particular crime is existing or prevailing in that particular area? Yan yung tinatawag natin na crime mapping. Halimbawa, sa isang, sa isang region, Okay, sa isang city dito or sa isang municipality, ito yung uh, mostly na nangyayari sa kanila. Halimbawa, sa isang municipality, mostly ang nangyayari na crime is uh, tinatawag natin na patayan or homicide, homicidal cases. Yung sa isa naman, uh, nakawa naman, uh, robbery, thefts, and, and so on. So, yun yung tinatawag natin na crime mapping. So, ibig sabihin, Uh, ginagamit yan ng mga analyst class of course uh, and of course law enforcement agencies para of course mag employ sila ng tinatawag natin na uh, officers in that particular area. Yung hindi masyado or walang masyadong nangyayaring krimen na area or alimbawa, peaceful ang area nila. Of course, hindi na natin kailangan lagyan or konti lang yung workforce or yung mga officers na ilagay doon. Kasi nga of course hindi naman kaya masyadong um, delikado. Okay? So, yan yung tinatawag natin na crime uh, mapping. To so, visualize, analyze crime incident patterns. That is crime mapping. Okay, very good. Uh, okay, majority got the correct answer. Okay, next, we have next uh, question natin. Uh, pakibasa nga si uh, nandyan na ba si Chanin? Wala, no? Okay, so balik tayo ulit kay uh, Sir Nasim. Sir Nase. Hello, Wanda. A geographical pattern of a particular subject's matter or theme in a geographical area. A. Thematic mapping. B. Crime mapping. C. Hotspot or geographical profiling. Okay. So, a geographic pattern of a particular subject matter or theme in a geographic area. Okay. A. Thematic mapping. Letter B. Crime mapping. Letter C. Hotspots. And letter D. Geographic profiling. Mm -hmm. Kainin na kayo class ng sagot ha Baka sampalin niya kayo Okay, so let's answer. Okay. Okay, so Mandelo. Ano yung sagot ni... Sino pa yung hindi nakasagot? Sila Kaiza. What is your answer? Okay, majority of you answered letter D. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure ba kayo sasagotin yung class? Okay. So ang sagot natin dyan, nakalagay na o. Oh, okay, subject matter or team. Okay. Okay, nawawumali kayo no. Okay, ang sagot natin dyan, that is thematic mapping. Okay, so bakit siya nagot geographic profiling? Okay, so that is letter A class, ah, that is thematic mapping. Nakalagay dyan. A geographic pattern of a particular subject matter or theme in a geographical area. Mamaya, ma-explain natin what is geographic profiling. 
Okay, that is thematic mapping class. Okay, particular uh, particular subject matter or theme. Halimbawa, okay, ganito kasi class nag-function ng thematic mapping. Okay, so actually napasadahan ko na yung kanina yun. Magkakaroon ng thematic mapping. Halimbawa, magkakaroon ng survey, magkakaroon, mag, ano kayo, mag-employ kayo ng mga questionnaire. Okay, magkakaroon kayo ng uh, survey. Okay, di ba? On a particular area. Halimbawa, katulad nung ginawa ko sa University of Baguio before nung, ano, sa, sa research. Okay, so ang uh, ano kasi namin, yung domestic violence uh, during COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, so what particular or what particular domestic violence ang uh, nagpiprevail in that particular area sa Baguio City. Okay, halimbawa sa isang barangay, ano yung uh, pre prevailing na kind of domestic violence? Dito naman, ano yung uh, uh, particular uh, domestic violence cases ang nagpiprevail? Okay, so of course class, kapag kinuha mo na yan or kinakalculate mo na yan, kukunin mo lahat yung result. Iko-compare, iko-contrast din, of course, magkakaroon ka na ng summary, okay? magkakaroon kayo ng uh, tinatawag natin na corroboration or corroborated data sa nakuha mong uh, mga datos, di ba? M mga nakuha mong datos. Magkakaroon ka ngayon ng thematic mapping. Ah, okay. During, uh, during uh, COVID-19 pandemic, ito yung tinatawag natin na prevailing na uh, domestic violence cases. Okay? in particular halimbawa sa ganitong barangay halimbawa sa um, Pinsaw Pilot to diba? dati sa Pinsaw Pilot kasi ako eh okay so ano na ako diyan eh um, resident okay adopted sa ano Baguio <laughs> for two years okay so ayan um, so sa halimbawa sa Pinsaw Pilot ito yung nangyayaring uh, domestic violence okay so halimbawa yung palaging sa nasaktan ng uh, Mr. si Mrs. okay kasi di ba naka-work at home. So, yun yung tanatawag natin na thematic mapping. So, yun yung common class sa isang particular geographic area. Pag sinabi kasi natin geographic, it, it talks about the place. Di ba? It talks about the place. On that particular area, ito yung nangyayaring kremen. Okay? Or ito yung nangyayaring subject matter or case. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng subject matter or teams. Okay, di ba? Palaging, uh, di ba kapag nagre-research kayo, okay, kunin nyo yung teams. Okay? kukunin niyo yung teams ibig sabihin yung majority na nangyayari in that particular event in that particular subject matter or in that particular area okay kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng thematic mapping again pag sinabi nating thematic mapping it is the geographic pattern of a particular subject matter or theme in a geographic area what is that theme okay ano yung prevailing in that area Okay, na makukuha natin or na masasabi natin during that particular time or during that particular uh, month or year na ano natin, yan yung mostly na nag na prevailing in that particular area. Kumbaga, of course, meron namang iba pero ang nag exist or nangingibabaw talaga class, ganitong kaso, ganitong event, and so on and so forth. So yan yung tanatawag natin na thematic mapping. Nakuha niyo class? Nakuha ba? Nakuha mga class? Uh, okay. So kasi class sa board exam, uh, in between. Okay. Minsan na, uh, in between, uh, nandyan yung sagot. Di ba? Parang uh, ipapakain sa inyo. Okay. So siguro nag-focus kayo doon sa geographic pattern. Kaya ang sinagot ninyo is uh, geographic profiling. Mamaya malalaman natin what is geographic profiling and of course hotspots. Okay. Next question. Okay. Next. Dito tayo. Si uh, after ni Sir Nasim, si Sir Rafael. Sir Rafael? Hello, sir. Good evening po. Good evening. Okay, so yan. Areas that have a higher than average level of criminal activity. A, thematic mapping. B, crime mapping. C, hotspots. And D, geographic profiling. Okay, so areas that have a higher than average level of criminal activity. Okay, what is that? Okay, so ayan, of course, class, apply the process of elimination, di ba? Okay, so all you already knew what is the uh, process of elimination. So dapat, uh, alam na, alam nyo na yan.
Okay, so areas that have a higher than an average level of criminal activity. Okay, sorry. Of course, last ang sagot natin dyan, an areas okay, that have a higher average level of criminal activities that is uh, hotspots. Okay? So, hotspots. Okay, halimbawa, di ba, meron tayong tinatawag na crime hotspots. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kailangan talaga natin mag-employ ng pinakamarami or maraming police officer, okay, uh, law enforcement officers or agencies doon sa particular area na yan. Kasi of course, meron nagkakaroon ng crime hotspots. Alam ba, sa kakatapos lang class na election, di ba? Yung barangay and SK election. Di ba? So, kung napapansin niyo merong uh, particular area na kung saan nag employ yung COMELEC or yung government natin, dapat maraming nakabantay na military, maraming nakabantay na police, Maraming, uh, of course, may, minsan may fire, di ba? may PCG and so on. Kasi nga, meron tayong tinatawag na hotspots. Okay? Ibig sabihin, it is an area that have a higher than average level of criminal activity. Kasi kapag hindi sila mag employ ng tinatawag natin na uh, police uh, officers doon or any law enforcement officers in that particular crime hotspots, ang magkakaroon doon class, di ba? Patayan. Kahit maro kahit uh, nandoon ngayon mga ano eh, military, nandoon ngayon yung police, meron pa rin, di ba? Nagbabarilan sila during the elections kasi of course yung tinitinan nila doon yung power. Okay? Kaya nga uh, nagkakaroon tayo ng hotspots kung saan, di ba? Kung nakikita mo, di ba? Sa amin, hindi naman masyadong uh, hindi naman masyadong ano naman, peaceful naman, wala nang problema doon, di ba? So on the part of course in the part area uh, on another part of the Philippines marami talaga na meron tayong tinatawag na hotspots okay election okay hotspot na tinatawag natin uh, hindi talaga yan ma zero di ba national whether it is a local election whether it is a national election magkakaroon talaga ng patayan diyan kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng hotspots kaya di ba merong mga tanki dig eh. <laughs> maraming uh, isang batalyon or ilang batalyon yung pupunta sa lugar na yon para ma-make sure class na kung magkaroon man ng any criminal activity arising in that particular area masusuppress or mababawasan yung of course hindi na di ba kung nababalitaan niyo maraming namatay Uh, how much more na lang kung walang nakabantay doon in that particular area? Ibig sabihin, alert. Okay, mas alert sila doon. Ibig sabihin, uh, medyo delikado. May mangyayari at mangyayari. Kaya nga, it is an areas that have a higher than average level of criminal activity na tawag natin na crime hot spots. Nakuha ninyo, class? Nakuha ba? Naturo na ba ito sa inyo yung, yung mga ganito, yung uh, mga hot spots? Mga thematic mapping, crime mapping, and so on. Or hindi. Hindi pa siya. Ah, hindi pa. Okay, sige. Okay, so ayan. So nakuha na ninyo. So meron na kayong uh, advantage. O ba diba? Meron na kayong competitive advantage sa ibang uh, examinees. ba diba? So sila, malalaman na nila yan sa final coaching or sa ibang uh, ano, discussion. Pero mostly hindi kasi ito na, na, natatanong or hindi na tatakil minsan. Okay? Pero of course, very important yan. Class, nakalagay yan kasi sa, ano eh, sa TOS natin. So dapat natin talagang matakil yan. Okay? So that is uh, hot spots. Okay, next. Uh, hindi pa, sir. Okay, saan pa lang kayo, Sir Roger, na area sa, ano, sa review ninyo? Okay, so ayan, okay na ba? Sige. Um, <clears throat> okay, so okay, next. Uh -huh. uh, next tayo, dito tayo class. Uh, sino kaya yung next na? Okay, after ni Rafael, si uh, Florendo. Florendo? Nandito pa ba si Florendo? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, a criminal investigative methodology that analyzes the location 
of a connected series of crimes to determine the most probable area of offender residence. A. Thematic mapping. B. Crime mapping. C. Hotspots. D. Geographic profiling. Okay, so a criminal investigative methodology that analyzes the locations of a connected series of crimes to determine the most probable area of offender residence. Okay, sige. Lahat kayo klaso magot on the comment section, please. Okay, so ayan. Uh, it is your anong class talaga eh. Mm -hmm. O baga chance yun na to class. Okay? Yung iba kasi ngayon, di ba? Kung na napapansin mo, uh, dati nung nagpupus ako nung hindi pa, wala pang ano, wala pang vacation, ang dami agad-agad yan, mag ano, thousands na agad ang magre-react. Ngayon, konti lang. Kasi nga, naka-break naka sila. So that's why, yan yung mga mindset na dapat na meron kayo, di ba? Okay, so you took advantage para, of course, uh, one, uh, 10 kilometers away kayo sa mga kalaban ninyo sa board exam. Okay, so kasi babalik pa sila November 6 siguro or November 5. So maganda yon yung mas masya, ma, ma, medyo malayo na kayo sa kanila. Okay, so ayan, ulitin natin. So ang sagutin natin. So uh, a criminal investigative methodology that analyzes the locations of a connected series of crimes to determine the most probable area of offender residence, of course, our answer that is geographic profiling. Okay, geographic profiling ang tawag natin dyan. Nakalagay dyan, that anal analyzes or analyzes the locations of a connected series of crimes, of course, the most probable area of offender residence. Kaya that's why nagkakaroon tayo ng geographic profiling. Pag sinabi natin geographic profiling, of course, uh, geography, it talks about diba, the, the altitude, it talks about the, the place. Okay? So, yan yung tanatawag natin na geographic profiling. The most pro probable area of offender residence. Okay? So, of course, to analyze the location, ano ba yung meron sa lugar na yun? kung bakit okay palaging nag nagkakaroon ng palaging may tinatapo na na bangkay or may tinatapo na dead body on that particular area masyado bang masukal or masyado bang uh, hindi maabot or masyado bang malalayo yung mga bahay in that particular area okay kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng geographic profiling kailangan ba natin lagyan ng street lights dito okay Mag, uh, pwede bang uh, linisan, okay, linisan yung particular area na to para, of course, di ba, ma, 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 ano natin, masupress or mabawasan yung palaging nangyayaring krimen on that particular area. Okay, yan yung purpose class ng geographic profiling. Okay, to analyze the location and of course to determine, okay, ano yung mga connected uh, crimes or palaging nag prevail na crimes dyan. Baka yung area na yan, kailangan ng, uh, of course, ng total demolition or kailangan talaga linisan or kailangan lagyan ng maraming uh, police officer or kailangan ng uh, mag-employ or mag-deploy ng tanatawag na rin na, na officers in that particular area. Kasi nga, nagkakaroon tayo ng geographic profiling. Okay? What is the, uh, based on the location, ano yung impact ng, ng geography natin, ng place, ng altitude or okay, yung location ng mismo na nang, pinangyarihan ng krimen on the particular crime na nangyari class. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng geographic profiling 
para malaman ngayon bakit in that particular area, ano yung meron sa area na yan? Bakit palaging tinatapunan? Bala, bakit palaging dyan natatagpuan yung mga bangkay or any other um, remains, di ba? Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng geographic profiling para to analyze and to determine, to connect, okay, yung pangyayari class uh, based, uh, ano yan, pangyayari, okay, yung crime na nangyari and of course, yung uh, epekto or yung connection ng place sa lugar na yan. Okay? Uh, uh, epekto para ng place sa pangyayaring krimen na yan. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng geographic profiling. The most probable area of, of offender residence. That is geographic profiling. Nakuha ninyo, class? Nakuha ba? Okay. Yes, nakuha, na, okay nakuha na ninyo. So, very good. Okay, so natapos na natin ang thematic mapping, crime mapping, hotspots, geographic profiling, and so on. Of course, class, uh, dapat magbabasa, magbasa pa kayo ah, more on dito ng yung mga geographic profiling, uh, hotspots, crime mapping, and thematic mapping kasi palaging tinatanong yan sa board exam. Mabuti, every time na nagpa-final coaching ako sa sa Leia, palagi kong binibigyan ng emphasis to kaya easy na lang pagdating nila ng board exam. Okay, madali naman talaga ang Leia class. Okay, hindi mahirap ang Leia ha. Uh, yan yung pinakapaborito kong subject eh, ang Leia. Kasi be before kasi hindi ko yung paborito. <laughs> Pero of course, uh, nasa inyo na yan, how to answer okay, the question. Okay, of course class, uh, we already discussed what is crime mapping. Okay, so yung para ma-determine natin yung crime uh, pattern incident, then we have the thematic mapping. Of course, it is a uh, geographic pattern of a particular area or theme in a geographic area. So, of course, we have the non-graphical indicators, special regression, geographic profiling, hotspots, and so on. Mamaya class, ma-explain pa natin. Of course, sa final coaching, ha, so lahat mauulit pa natin itong mga terms na to. Okay, dito tayo on the next. Uh, si, uh, tapos na si Florendo, si Lauren Solet. Okay, very basic ng tanong na to class. Ulitin natin. Board exam is basic ka, ah. okay? So board exam is basic. Dapat alam mo yung mga basic, okay? So baka masyadong malayo na yung binabasa mo, baka ang binabasa mo connected na yun sa nursing board exam, di ba? Okay, sige. Pakibasa, Sir Lawrence. A French word which means to travel by foot or to roam around. A, patrol. B, officer depicts. C, politia. The patriol patrioler. Okay. okay, so a French word which means to travel by foot or to roam around. Okay, what is our answer? Okay, of course last, ang sagot natin dyan, that is, of course, that is patrol year. Okay, a French word, which means to travel by foot or to roam around. Okay, so ayan na, that is letter D, patrol year. Okay, letter D, patrol year. Okay, of course, no question, uh, wala namang tanong dyan, that is very basic. Okay, next. Okay, so next tayo to answer, we have si uh, Sir Bertodazo. Available ba si Sir Bertodazo? Berto Dazo, where are you? <laughs> and then, wala ba, sir? Or uh, si Sir Assist you. Assist you? Okay, so wala. Na Narinig nyo ba, class? Baka nawala ako, ah. Nandyan pa yes, kayo? Yes, sir. Yes, Ay, po, sir. Sorry pa po, Rinig. Ah, sige, sige. Okay, so next. Uh, okay, next. Balik tayo kay... Ay. Si uh, Mond, uh, balik tayo ulit kay Mondello, uh, kay Kaiza. 
balik, balik tayo kay Kaisa. Baka yung iba hindi maganda yung connection. In the police organization, the division that had been regarded as the core and at the same time the operational heart for the reason that it performs almost all the function of police organization is referred to as the A, traffic, B, C, intelligence, B, investigation, B, patrol. Okay. So in the police organization, the division that had been regarded as the core or yung tanatawal na the center, at the same time, the operational heart for the reason that is performs almost the function of police organization as referred to us. Okay, what is the core? What is the uh, the heart? Okay, of course, class, pag sinabi natin uh, the core, at the same time, the heart of, of course, the PNP organization or the police organization, minsan, class, ang ginagamit nila na, na, ano dyan, na acronym, or yung, sorry, the keyword is aside sa core, aside sa heart. Ano pa? Ano yung ginagamit pa nila aside sa core, aside sa heart? Na, uh, still, ang describe niya, class, is the patrol. Okay, ano yung uh, keyword aside sa it is the core, it is the heart. Okay, backbone. Okay, tama naman yung backbone. Yung isa pa, nagsa-start sa letter N. Nagsa-start sa letter N. Okay, kasi nung last board exam ang ginamit nila, it is the blank, it is the N. Okay, nagsa-start sa letter N ha. It is the N of the police service or the police organization. Okay, very good. Okay, Mondelo, it is the nucleus. Okay, it is the nucleus of the police organization that is what they call patrol. Okay, magagaling pala yung mga student ko. Ah. Okay, so very good. So that is nucleus, okay, of the police organization. So yan yung tanatawag natin still, that is the patrol. So meaning, pag sinabi natin patrol, it is the core, ibig sabihin it is the center, and it is the same time the, the heart, or it is the nucleus of the police organization for the reason class the patrol performs almost the function of the police organization that's why it is regarded as the heart the core and at the same time it is regarded as the nucleus of the police organization okay nakuha okay that is letter d patrol okay next after ni uh, kaiza sir mondelo sir mondelo The primary purpose of police patrol is to attract the people for the system of the military system, but in order for the groups to get to know the people better, we need to eliminate the perception for the crime of the military system, we need to eliminate the terrorists that make them better crime. Okay, the primary purpose of police patrol is, of course, uh, what is your answer, class, in the comment section? Okay, of course, the primary purpose class ng tanatawag natin na police patrol is, uh, of course, to eliminate the opportunity for crime commission. Okay, so ano yung tanatawag natin class na triangle of crime? Okay, what are, what are the triangle of crimes? What is the triangle? Okay, yung tatlo na yun. 
the triangle of crime. So ano yun? Of course, di ba, opportunity ang tinatawag natin that the most important one. Okay, moy. Very good. Moy, of course, we have the uh, motive, opportunity, and of course, the instrumentality. Okay, walang intent, ha? Walang intent, okay? Ang uh, ano natin, yung I that stands for instrumentality. That is the common mistake ng mga student. Pag sinabi natin yung uh, moy, or yung tinatawag natin na crime triangle, that is motive, opportunity, and instrumentality. Wala tayong intent. Ang intent class, of course, that is in criminal law. Okay? Okay lang yan. So, mabuti na na-correct natin. Much better, di ba, na na-correct natin kaysa pagdating sa board exam, magkakamali kayo. Okay? So, yan. Again, the uh, tra uh, the crime triangle na ginagamit natin, of course, we have the moy. Of course, uh, ang pinaka-importante doon is the opportunity. Okay? The primary purpose of police patrol is to eliminate opportunity for crime commission. Of course, pag ang opportunity class, that, that is the most important, ano, di ba, the most uh, important among the crime triangle. But still, di ba, walang mangyayaring krimen kapag hindi kompleto ang crime triangle na meron tayo. Okay, ang purpose ng police patrol class is to uh, the, uh, to eliminate the opportunity for crime commission. Ibig sabihin, kapag merong police officer na nakatalaga dyan or naka-assign dyan, of course, class, mawawala yung opportunity for crime commission. Okay, so that is letter C. Okay, next. Okay, next, after ni Sir Mondelo, Sir um, Sir Nasim, Nasim? Nandiyan ba Sir Nasim? Yes, Mr. The okay. uh, primary functions of the patrol division in crime preventions, in the effort of the divisions to perform their functions, uh, patrol officers on the beach should be able to eliminate the factors that contribute to the development of crime, especially the existence of a desire C, instrumentality, B, opportunity, and D, motive. Okay. Merong nagsusubo kay sir ng pagkain kanina eh. O diba? Sana all. <laughs> kay sir Nasim. <laughs> okay. Sino kaya yun? Sir? Na nakita namin may sumusubo ng pagkain sa'yo. Sino kaya yun? Ah, okay. Oh. Ano po? Pamangkin ko lang po. Eh, ah, meron lang ano. Pamangkin <laughs> pala, diba? Akala ko sino eh. Opo. Okay. Ay, wala po sir. Ah, okay. <laughs> Okay, akala ko sino yung sabi ko sino yung sumasubo na pagkain guys. <laughs> okay, so ayan. The primary function of patrol division is crime prevention. Okay, in the effort of the division to perform their function, patrol officers on beat should be able to eliminate the factors that contribute to the development of crime, especially the existence of what? Okay. Actually na explain ko na kanina lang eh. Okay, what is our answer class? Tandaan niyo class ha. Yung uh, first uh, sentence diyan, it is not a question, uh, it is a fax. Okay? Okay, fax lang 'yan. Okay. The primary function of patrol division is crime prevention. I-take note nyo. So baka sa next or baka sa next time itatanong sa blackboard niyo or sa board exam, what is the primary function of patrol division? Ang sagot diyan is for crime prevention. Okay? So i-take note niyo class, pero hindi pa 'yan yung tanong. Okay? So of course dito tayo mag-focus sa baba. Okay, so ang sagot natin dyan, that is, uh, of course, that is uh, opportunity. That is letter B, okay? That is the uh, existence of opportunity. Paano natin mawawala yung opportunity? Of course, mag-employ tayo or maglalagay tayo ng mga patrol officers class para ma-eliminate yung uh, opportunity ng would-be violators or yung mga uh, magkukumitang crimes, of course, in performing yung uh, illegal activity na meron siyang or na binabalak niya that is opportunity. Okay? So next, uh, majority got the correct answer. Okay, next tayo si um, after ni Sir Nasim, si Sir Rafael. Rafael, nandyan pa? Yes, sir. Nandito po. Oh, sige, next. The objective of patrol that falls under the category of protection for it involves the prevention of crime through the noticeable presence of police vehicle and personnel is called A. Traffic enforcement, B. Preventive enforcement, C. Selective enforcement, and D. Law enforcement. Okay, so the, obje the objective of patrol that falls under the category of protection where it involves the prevention of crime through the noticeable presence of police vehicles and personnel is called Okay, what is that? Traffic enforcement, 
preventive, selective law enforcement. Okay, so of course, ang sagot natin dyan, class, uh, tingnan kayo mga sagot ninyo, preventive enforcement. Of course, that is uh, letter B, preventive enforcement. Hindi naman natin pwedeng isagot si traffic. Hindi naman natin pwedeng isagot si law enforcement. Of course, that is general. Of course, pag sinabi natin selective enforcement, kung ano yung particular area na kailangan natin bantayan or kailangan natin i-bigyan uh, ng mas maraming personal, mas maraming officer, that is a selective enforcement. So that's why ang sagot natin dyan, that is letter B. Okay? So under uh, it falls under the category of protection. Okay? So notice, noticeable presence of police vehicles and of course personal. Kaya di ba meron tayong tabag, tinatawag na uh, police visibility. Okay, or yung tinatawag natin na police omnipresence. Okay, so yan yung tinatawag natin na preventive enforcement. Okay, next after ni Sir Rafael, si Sir Florendo. Sir Florendo? Yes, sir. A, a type of patrol that has an advantage on steel and mobility is referred to as the A, bicycle, um, C, motorcycle, B, foot patrol, D, Mobile. Okay, so a type of patrol that has an advantage of on steel and mobility is referred to us. Okay, so what is the type of patrol is that? Okay, pag sinabi natin steel, tibig sabihin hindi mo na mamalaya na nandiyan na pala, di ba? Okay, of course, uh, mobility, tibig sabihin pwede siyang uh, kahit saan, okay, kahit gano'ng kasikip yan, pwede niyang mapuntahan. Okay? It is a type of patrol that has an advantage of mobility and steel or steel and mobility is referred to us as the Of course, that is a bicycle patrol. Okay? That is letter A. That is a bicycle patrol class. Tandaan nyo lang, pag sinabi natin bicycle patrol, ang combination or ang feature niya class is mobility and steel. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo na mamalayan na nandyan na pala yung bicycle. That's why, di ba? Meron siyang combination ng mobility and steel or steel and mobility. That is a bicycle patrol. Okay, nakuha ba? So bicycle patrol ang tawag natin dyan. Of course, di ba, uh, lalo na sa mga iskinitas, okay, yung mga ano, makuntahan ng tanatawag natin na bicycle patrol. Okay, nakuha? Okay, nakunin. Okay, very good. Nakuha, nakunin. Okay, that is bicycle patrol. Okay, then of course, uh, next tayo after ni Sir Florendo, no? Sir Lawrence ulit. Sir Lawrence. Yes, sir. Which of the following is the most ideally suited to evacu evacuation and search and rescue duties? A, motorcycle. B, patrol car. C, helicopter. The fixed wing patrol. Okay, so which of the following is the most ideally suited to evacuation and search and rescue duties?
Okay, so which of the following is the most ideally suited to evacuation and search and rescue duties class? Okay, very good. Of course, our answer is that is a helicopter patrol. Okay, that is uh, suited for evacuation and search and rescue operation. Yun yung tinatawag natin na helicopter patrol. Of course, class, uh, ang fixed wing patrol, that is the other term for helicopter patrol, but still, okay, since na nauna, say, tinatawag natin na helicopter, so yun yung magiging sagot natin. Helicopter patrol. Okay, that is suited to evacuation and search and rescue duties. That is letter C, helicopter patrol. Okay? So, yeah. Okay, next tayo. Pakibasa, Sir Berto Dazo. Nandyan pa ba si Sir Berto Dazo? Berto Dazo. Oh, wala? Okay. Si Sir Asischo. Asischo. Jennifer, ah, Sir Ba, or I sorry, Jennifer assist you rather. Wala ba si Jennifer? Ah, wala. Or hindi na rin ni Jennifer. Okay, so, sana na lang. Okay, babalik tayo. Sino yun? Sino yun? Sino yun? Ah, sige, si uh, Florendo pala, sorry. Florendo, sige, go ahead. Small alleys like those in the squatter area of Pondo can be best penetrated by the police through A, foot patrol, B, highway patrol, C, mobile patrol, D, helicopter patrol. Okay. Uh, small alleys like those in the squatter's area of Pondo, di ba palaging tanatanong ko sa board exam, can be best penetrated by police through. Okay, what is your answer? We will end at 7.30 class. Ha? Okay, bukas whole day tayo sa ating lecture. Okay, so... Okay, of course, ang sagot natin dyan, that is uh, what we call the uh, foot patrol. Okay, so foot patrol ang sagot natin dyan, class. Of course, di ba? It can be best penetrated by the police through foot patrol ang tinatawag natin. Of course, mamaya, ma-explain natin further what is uh, foot patrol. Okay, so of course, we have the types of patrol class. Of course, pag sinabi natin foot patrol, okay, tandaan nyo lang yung foot patrol that is the most expensive, ah. Okay, that is the most expensive type of patrol. And of course, that is the simplest. Okay, huwag yung sabihin the most cheapest ang foot patrol kasi naglalakal lang naman sila. That is, uh, 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 masyado namang niliteral. Okay, that's wrong. Okay, pag sinabi natin foot patrol, that is the most expensive okay, type of patrol and the most simplest. Diba? Of course, class, kailangan mo makikonnect sa community. Okay, sa mga citizens natin. Kaya that's why ang foot patrol, it is regarded as the most expensive type of patrol. Then, of course, we have the automobile or yung tinatawag natin na mobile patrol. Okay, so yan yung uh, next tayo. We have the horse or mounted patrol. Of course, kapag diba sa mga mountainous areas, so yan yung ginagamit natin or that is the most expensive one. Then, uh, we have the dog, okay, the canine, okay, the or yung tinatawag natin na canine assisted patrol. Okay, kapag tanong kayo sa board exam class, what type of patrol na gumagamit sila ng tinatawag natin na dog? Okay, again, what type of patrol wherein we utilize the the use of, of course, the dog? Okay, in uh, in that particular type of patrol. Anong type, anong tawag natin sa patrol na yun, class? Again, what type of patrol na kung saan ginagamit nila yung dog? Okay, in the patrol. In patrolling. Okay? Yung iba, lahat lang sumagot. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so ayan, very good. Okay, so uh, mm -hmm. maraming nagkamali, oh. Tingnan, tingnan natin. Bakit kaya nagkamali kayo? That is the type of patrol. Ang K9, that is the type of dog. used in canine patrol. Okay, again, ha? ulitin natin. Pag sinabi natin canine or dog patrol, that is the type of patrol wherein gumagamit or ginagamit natin yung dog or yung we utilize dogs in uh, patrolling. While ang K9, okay, yung K-9, or uh, there is the canine, there is the type of dog na ginagamit natin in canine patrol. Nakuha? Okay, ano yung mostly class na breed ng dog ang ginagamit natin uh, in uh, patrolling or in the dog patrol or in canine patrol class? Okay, marami, di ba? Okay, so of course, we have the German Shepherd. Sino ba yung German Shepherd dito sa inyo? <laughs> Wala ba? Wala naman? Okay, so yan. Again, ulitin natin ang canine or dog patrol. That is the type of patrol na gumagamit or nag-utilize. Puro askal at aspin. <laughs> okay, so ayan. Na, nag-utilize ng dog. While ang K-9, that is the type of dog na ginagamit natin in dog or yung canine patrol. Nakuha? Okay, dog, canine, or canine assisted patrol. Okay, so yan. Okay, so that is dog or canine or canine assisted patrol. Okay, next. Of course, we have the motorcycle patrol class. Ang motorcycle uh, patrol naman class, that is suited class. Kapag halimbawa may nahinahabol tayo, di ba, na criminal, tapos nagkakalo ng traffic. So, ibig sabihin, pwede siyang maka-maneuver or uh, maneuverability naman ang magiging feature ng motorcycle patrol. Pwede siya maka-insert in insert class. So that's why it is a motorcycle patrol. Then, of course, we have the bicycle patrol. Ang bicycle patrol class, of course, di ba, meron siyang combination na feature na mobility and steel. Ibig sabihin, hindi na mamalaya na nandyan na pala yung uh, magnanakaw or uh, nandyan na pala yung, uh, sorry, yung uh, patrol officer. Kaya nga, ang ginagamit siya lang is bicycle patrol. Then, of course, the river and bay boat or yung water patrol that is the forgotten uh, heroes of patrol division. Tanan nyo ha, kapag tanong sa board exam, what is the, ano yung forgotten heroes? Sino yung mga forgotten uh, type of patrol in uh, the police service? That is the river and bay boat water patrol. Kasi mostly class ng mga drugs ay pinabagsak dyan sa katubigan natin. So that's why ang river and bay or yung boat water patrol it is considered as the forgotten heroes ng tanatawag natin na patrol division. Okay? So river or it is the bay or boat or water patrol. Okay. Then of course we have the air patrol fixed wing or helicopter. Tanda nyo class dapat alam nyo yung other term ng every every ano na yan, every uh, terms na yan para of course pagdating sa board exam kapag nauna yung isa yun yung isa sagot niyo kasi of course that's still an, the, the, the other term okay so dapat alam niyo yon so air patrol or it is the fixed wing or it is the helicopter patrol so yan of course for it is used for search and rescue operation lalong lalo na kapag halimbawa merong flooding or merong nangyayaring of course uh, diluvio or merong uh, unprecedented event na nangyari sa ating bansa air patrol fixed wing or helicopter they are one in the same okay so ulit natin wala tayong tibi patrol ah okay so again the types of patrol we have the foot patrol automobile horse dog motorcycle bicycle river and air patrol na tinatawag natin 
Okay, so yon. Then, of course, i-define pa natin further. Pag sinabi natin yung foot patrol, there is the most simplest and the most expensive type of patrol. Bakit yes, sir, tinatawag the most simplest and the most expensive type of patrol? E naglalakad lang naman sila. Ang reason behind that, ang uh, foot patrol class is manpower extensive. Ibig sabihin, mas marami or mas marami ini-employ na police officer or patrol officer diyan sa tinatawag natin na foot patrol. And of course, kailangan pa nila makipag uh, makapag-create ng ng rapport or ng relationship with the community. So that's why mayro mga established programs and services ang mga patrol officers or mga police officers on foot. Kaya na ko consider natin class as the most expensive at the same time it is the simplest and of course at the, it is the most effective one okay foot patrol then of course we have the automobile or mobile patrol class meron siyang combination na speed and mobility di ba mabilis magresponde then it is the most cost effective and of course it is the best weapon or it is the best means in preventive enforcement lalong lalo na kapag uh, yung mga would-be violators would uh, commit a crime. So, of course, ang opportunity yung uh, nawawala doon. Kasi nga, of course, yung, uh, nandyan yung mobile patrol or automobile patrol that is the best way in preventive enforcement. Kasi again, ang purpose ng patrolling natin class is for preventive enforce, uh, enforcement to eliminate the opportunity of would-be violators to commit a crime. So, that is automobile or mobile patrol. Then, of course, the boat or the water patrol, it is... Uh, Uh, sinabi ko kanina, yung, uh, yung bay or boat or water patrol, it is the forgotten heroes of the police department. Kasi again, kung hindi nyo nalalaman, yung sa, sa boat or sa katubigan natin, dyan mostly binababa or binabagsak yung mga drugs. That's why uh, minsan or nakakaligtan natin, it is the forgotten heroes of the police department. Yung boat or water patrol. Okay, then of course, we have the uh, motorcycle patrol. Ang motorcycle patrol naman, of course, meron siyang combination or meron siyang feature na speed and manu uh, maneuverability. Ibig sabihin, pwede siyang makapag, uh, okay, makapag-maneuver. Ibig sabihin, pwede siyang mag-insert. Okay, lalong-lalong na kapag traffic, di ba? Katapos may nahabol ka na, na uh, tawag nito, na tumakas. Okay, may nahabol ka na tumakas na violator or offender. So that's why it is the best way okay, na ginagamit natin yung tanatawag natin na motorcycle patrol. Meron siyang combination na speed and maneuverability. Okay? Maneuverability. So that is uh, foot patrol, the simplest and the most expensive type. Ang automobile naman, merong speed and mobility. Ang boat and water patrol, the forgotten heroes. And a motorcycle patrol naman, there is a speed and maneuverability. Then of course, pag sinabi nating uh, bicycle patrol, meron siyang combination class na mobility and still. Ibig sabihin, uh, hindi na mamalaya na nandiyan na pala. Okay, nakuha niyo class? Nakuha ba? Naintindihan yung uh, foot patrol, automobile, boat, water, or yung motorcycle patrol. Of course, yung fixed or aircraft patrol or helicopter patrol, yan yung tinatawag natin na, di ba? The, that is uh, suitable for search and rescue operation, di ba? So yun yung uh, aircraft wing. Again class, dapat uh, make sure, okay, na dapat alam niyo yung other terms na mga topics natin para pagdating sa board exam, kung sino yung first na mag-appear na tamang sagot, yun yung magiging sagot niyo. Okay? Nakuha? Okay, next. Okay, so dito tayo. So next to answer si uh, after ni uh, Okay, balik tayo kay Kaiza. Yes pa. The blank sheet is usually the busiest of all patrol sheets, often accounting for 40% to 80% of all calls for service. A morning shift, B midday shift, C afternoon shift, D night shift. Okay, so the blank shift is usually the busiest of all patrol uh, shifts, diba? Often uh, accounting uh, 40% to 50% of the call or uh, all calls for service. Okay, what is the busiest of all? Okay, so ano yung uh, pinaka-busy na, na shift class ng patrol? Okay, may sumagot dito ng afternoon shift. Okay, tama ba yan? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Of course. Okay. Sige, wala pa. Sige, uh, sana yung iba. <laughs> Akala ko may sagot na lahat. Okay, saan yung iba? Bakit walang, walang sagot? Okay na ba, class? Okay. Ang sagot natin dyan, class, the busiest of them all, okay? Kung hindi nyo alam, okay, that is afternoon shift. Okay, very good. Okay, so ayan. Kasi meron tayong tatlong shift, class. Of course, we have the day or yung tanatawag natin na the morning, di ba? A shift uh, devoted to service activity that is from uh, 7 to 3 p.m. Okay, that is the day shift naman. Okay, then of course, we have the afternoon shift class. Uh, please famer, uh, familiarize lang yung tanatawag natin na uh, mga shift na to. From 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. naman, it is combined service-oriented and criminal apprehension function of what we call the service. So that's why it is the considered as the most or the busiest of all shifts ng tanatawag natin na patrol. Then, of course, we have the midnight shift naman. Okay, that is from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. That is also known or tinatawag rin natin yung class na dog watch or the graveyard which is uh, suggested uh, yung tinatawag natin na penalty box of the police work. Okay, it is the penalty box of the police work kasi di ba, um, it is the most or it is the least desirable uh, of all police shift na meron tayo. Again, ulitin natin. Ang day shift magsa-start yan sa 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. That is devoted for service activity or it is a service-oriented shift. Diba? Of course, i-orient yung mga police officer or patrol officer or yung mga naka-duty na dyan kung ano yung mga gagawin. That is, that's why it is a service-oriented shift. Ang afternoon shift naman, that is from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m., it has a combined service-oriented and criminal apprehension function of, of course, the, the shift. Then of course, the midnight shift naman that is the least desirable, tinatawag rin natin na na dog watch graveyard or it is the penalty box for police work. Kasi nga of course, sino ba naman ang pipili parang nag-call center ka, ba? <laughs> okay, the graveyard, the dog watch, okay, that is the least desirable of all police shift na meron tayo. Okay, nakuha na ba class? Nakuha na? Naintindihan? <laughs> Yes, sir. Okay, so again, next. Okay. Meron tayong uh, next natin. Uh, of course, uh, that is in reference to ano. Okay, dito tayo sa next natin na babasa. Sino yung kakatapos lang nag nagbasa nga? Si... Uh, si Ano ba yun? Si, si Kaisa, no? Okay. Uh, si, ano, si Mondelo na next. Okay, Mondelo. Mondelo? Nandiyan si Mondelo? Or nag-out na siya? Si... Yeah. Nandiyan pa ba siya? Or si ano na lang? Next kay uh, Mondelo, si Sir Nasim. Sir Nasim? Yes, yes po, sir. Yes, uh, Pedro is a type who is eyeing the, uh, at the handbag of Maria. Patrolman Santos Reyes is uh, standing a few meters from Maria. The thief's desires to steal is not, is not diminished by the presence is not diminished by the presence of the police officer, but 
blank for successful team is Okay, thank you. Okay, so Pedro is a thief who is eyeing at the handbag of Maria Magdanakao. Okay, Patrolman Santos Reyes is standing a few meters um, meters from Maria. The thief's desire to steal is not diminished by the presence of the police officer, but the blank for successful theft is. Okay, ano yung dinadiminish class? Okay, we already discussed that kanina. Ah, medyo malakas na palang ulan kila Mondelo. Okay lang. Uh... Aher, tina mo, hindi mo pa naubos yung pagkain mo. Tagal-tagal mo kumain eh. Sorry. Okay lang, okay lang. O, di ba? Akala ko sino yung sinasabihan ni ano ah. Pamamangkin ko kasi sir, nandito makukulit. <laughs> okay lang, okay lang. Okay, so ano yung sagot niya class on the comment section? Okay, of course that is our our answer of course class. That is the opportunity for successful theft. Divide that is the most important, okay? Yung presence ng uh, police officer hindi yun na diminish yung uh, desire niya to steal, but then again, ang na diminish doon yung opportunity niya class or yung chance niya for a successful theft, okay? Diba? Yung uh, crime na theft, yung makumit niya. That's why opportunity class yung uh, pinaka-importanting uh, elements or yung pinaka-importanting um, or uh, what it is, the element of the crime, okay? Opportunity. Okay, next. Um, we have uh, si uh, Sir... After uh, Sir Nassim, si Sir Rafael. Rafael? Yes po. Okay, sige. Police visibility in strategic crime-prone areas projects blank does an effective crime prevention strategy. A. Police omnipresence. B. Police effectiveness. C. Dis police discretion. And D. Police authority. Okay, so police visibility in strategic and a crime-prone areas uh, projects blank does an effective crime prevention strategy. Okay, so what is the answer? What is the other term for police visibility that is very obvious? Sorry. Okay, so of course, ang sagot natin dyan, class, that is letter A, that is police omnipresence. Okay, pag sinabi natin uh, omnipresence, class, or police omnipresence, ibig sabihin, the police is visible to the eye of the public. That's why ang um, dinibinish doon, it is also an effective crime prevention strategy wherein, di ba, yung presence ng police, okay, na diminish yung tinatawag natin na uh, opportunity ng violator to commit a crime. Okay? That's why ang um, police omnipresence or yung tinatawag rin natin na police visibility, ibig sabihin, the uh, police is visible to the eye of the public. Uh, kaya that's why um, would be violators or mga offender natin would think twice or thrice before sila mag-commit ng crime. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng police omnipresence. Pag sinabi naman natin discretion, what is discretion class? What is discretion? 
judgment sir in judgment okay very good pag sinabi natin discretion of course the the ability of the person to use wise judgment di ba but of course pag sinabi natin police discretion diba? that is the ability of the police officer to uh, to use wise judgment di ba halimbawa um uh, within that 7 seconds decision dapat uh, meron ka ng decision barilin mo ba o hindi kaya that's why we have the uh, police discretion the ability of course to use wise judgment that is police discretion of course pag sinabi natin authority there is the right to command. That's why it is RTC. Again, there is RTC. Okay, again, police visibility in strategic and crime-prone areas projects. What is that? There is a police omnipresence. Ibig sabihin, the, the police is visible to the eye of the public. Okay, so that is police omnipresence. Okay, next tayo. Uh -huh. Of course, na ulit na natin to class. Uh, basahin ko na lang. Of course, a metallic container used for safekeeping of documents or small items in an office or installation. Of course, kapag small item, that is what we call the... Sir, as, uh, as lang, sir, ano possible kaso ng police na naagawan ng barel. Ayaw ko kanina. Kanina, kakapanood ko lang yung klase eh, before tayo nagkaroon ng klase. Yung naagawan ng barel. Of course, wala siyang, uh, wala siyang kaso, class. Of course, di ba? Hindi mo naman pwedeng uh, ano yun? Uh, negligence in the performance of duty. Baka, baka importante naman yung ginagawa niya, di ba? Yung kausap niya sa cellphone. <laughs> okay. Uh, ay. Uh, ba, na, 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 na agawan. Tagal kasi naka-decide na kasami pa rin ba hindi. Uh, of course, class, di ba kaya meron tayong tanatawag na maximum tolerance, di ba? Hindi nyo naman pwede agad-agad barilin yung tao na yun. Baka, uh, ano, baka nasa hindi tamang pag-iisip yun. Okay, tama yun. Kanina na, 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 napanood ko yun bago tayo nag ano eh. So, di ba naagawan siya tapos naagaw talaga kasi di ba na, na, yung uh, nag-agaw class o nang, yung umagaw ng baril na talo daw sa suntukan. Kaya nung nakita niyang pulis na may katex or may na sa cellphone, inagaw niyo yung, uh, yung baril ng, ng polis. Tapos uh, nag-responde naman yung kabadi niya, pero hindi niya alam yung gagawin niya, di ba? Kaya na, ano, natakbo, pero nahuli naman at the end. <laughs> okay. So, yun yung tinatawag natin na police discretion class. Okay, hindi ka basta-basta class magpaputok o hindi, hindi mo rin basta-basta babarilin. Kasi nga, di ba, as a police officer, meron tayong tinatawag na maximum tolerance. As much as possible, Ang tinatawag kasi natin na maximum tolerance class, as much as possible, hindi ka pwedeng mag-employ ng force or ng dahas kapag hindi naman kinakailangan. Okay? So, yun. Okay, of course, ang sagot natin dito kapag small items, that is safe. Okay? So, ayan. Nasali siya dito. Okay, so dito tayo class mag-end. So, basahin ko lang ha, or explain natin. So, we have the police operational planning. Of course, then we have the operational planning. Again, pag sinabi natin uh, planning, that is determination in advance on what uh, to be done. Of course, kapag sa police, uh, police operational planning, it involves the strategies or tactics, procedures or policies or guidelines class. Okay, to provide yung tanatawag natin uh, or to provide yung uh, control and safeguards, yung uh, operations ng police department. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng police operational planning. Of course, di ba? Ano yung mga strategies? Ano yung mga procedures na gagawin? Yung policies and guidelines? Okay? In, uh, in, an, in an effective. Okay? Yung mga activities and operations class ng police. Okay? Ma, ma, ano yun? Maka-follow. Di ba? Meron tayong tinatawag na mga SOP or mga and so on. So, yan yung tinatawag na police operational planning. Of course, ang operational planning... It is applicable to all department, not just in police. Okay, that is the use of rational design or pattern for all departmental undertakings. Okay, so ayan, uh, preparation and development of procedures and techniques and accomplishing each of the primary tasks and functions of the organization. So operational planning and class of work at the end of the at, at the end of the month at the end of the day. So dapat ito yung maaccomplish natin. Okay, kapag sa operation, ano ba yung uh, better? na i-prepare natin okay na pattern okay and procedures so that is the uh, operational planning while the police operational planning that is connected or that is specifically applicable class na tinatawag natin na police uh, service or PNP service in general okay nakuha niyo okay so mag-end tayo muna dito class bukas uh, ano tayo magkakaroon muna magkakaroon tayo ng klase pa rin bukas 
Depende pa kung 8.30 or 9.30 yung start natin. But most likely, 9.30 kasi gising na gising na lahat, diba? Natapos na yung mga gawain. Then, of course, whole day tayo bukas ha, hanggang uh, ano tayo. Uh, meron tayong morning se- session and of course, meron tayong afternoon session. Okay? So, nakuha ba class? Marami kayong nakuha ngayong gabi. Okay, so ayan. Kahit nag 